is Sonic CD. Now in the original American version, in the American version, the Sonic Boom music will be playing right here. But in the Japanese version, there's actually sound effects. And the, so the song, um, You Can Do Anything, the ending theme, actually fits with the action. Like it actually fits with the action in the end scene. So for those of you that watched this only in the American version and only heard Sonic Boom with it, I think you'll be surprised to see how much the music's actually fitting with the little background animations and stuff like that uh, during the credits. So you'll see what I mean during that. It actually fits really well. Now, since this is the bad ending, this makes no sense because this is the bad ending, but Sonic throws a rock that somehow skips off of the ground and then flies into the air to hit Robotnik and create a gigantic dust cloud that looks like his face. Don't even ask me how the fuck that's possible, but you know, this is Sonic we're talking about. He don't give a shit. So, um, in the good ending, something different happens, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. But yeah, I mean, just watch how the music actually fits with this. Not yet. It'll be, it'll be in some of the later ones. It'll be much more obvious in some of the later animations. You know, I just thought about something actually. It may not actually sync up because it's moving slower because my uh, fraps is running. Shit. Okay, well, then you're gonna have to play and beat the ending for yourself then because if you actually uh, if you actually go to the ending and stuff like that and you um, don't have fraps running, most of this actually does synchronize up with the music really well. Like when shit explodes, there's drum beats, all that stuff, but yeah, it's running slower than it usually would. See all the more reason you should actually pick it up for yourself and try it. And of course, the best part of the entire little animation here at the end. You know, this is actually produced by Toei Animation. I believe I pronounced that right, Toei Animation. Which, if you know what they do, I mean, they did some pretty high profile shit, so you know, yeah. You really do owe it to yourself though to actually go and look up the lyrics to both You Can Do Anything and uh, Toot Toot Sonic Warrior, the two themes for the Japanese version of this game, because the lyrics are just interesting. Let's, let's say that, they are very interesting. So you owe it to yourself at least for that. Yeah, this happens if you get the bad ending. Robotnik, the planet comes out and it's still locked to the mountain, so you need that. Now this did not appear in the Sega CD version, uh, Tails saying that. It appeared in a different image, but it didn't appear when you beat the game. So now you can actually play as Tails, which you could not do in the Sega CD version. Now if you go to Time Attack... Now this song has never been in Sonic CD, American or Japanese version. I don't know where the hell it comes from. But you can actually pick the different levels and go through Time Attacks and stuff like that for them. And if you get the time down to a certain time, you actually unlock bonuses. And then there's actually leaderboards, which you can go... And uh, that is my Steam name there. It is Spicy Potato Chips. Yes, I change names pretty frequently. But you can check and see friends and stuff like that. And then you can see uh, all people, you know, and stuff like that. Like who's got uh, the fastest overall time or points or whatever else. And then you can go by score. You can go by overall total score. Holy crap, that guy's got a lot of points. Um, actually, hold on. And so you can, you know, go by that and all that stuff. Um, I was checking again to see if I was recording, sorry. And so you can go there, you can check by overall and stuff like that. You can check by level and all that stuff. The guy Shadow 666x666 is clearly hacking. I mean, look at his time, for God's sake. But um, yeah, so you can do that. And um, <clears throat> that's pretty neat. They got leaderboards on there. And uh, I don't know how to back out of this. Oh, there we go. 
And then you've got achievements, which shows achievements and stuff like that you can get. And uh, travel through time, complete a zone in the good future. Pass the upper signpost in Collision Chaos Zone 2. I don't know what that one is. Damn, collect 200 rings, find the angel statue in Wacky Workbench. Uh, I think that's a statue of Sonic. Defeat Metal Sonic without getting hurt. Yeah, good luck. Collect all the time stones. Um, complete time attack mode in under 25 minutes. Destroy all the robot teleporters and Metal Sonic holograms in the past. Good fucking luck. And then you can go to uh, soundtrack. You can do the American or the Japanese soundtrack. And you got Robotnik as a DJ. You can go to extras and you can see the DA Garden in visual mode if you have them unlocked. Unfortunately, I do not, which I would love to show you, but I do not have them unlocked. And then you can finally exit game. And that is what we will do. Thank you for watching this playthrough of Sonic CD 2011 Remake, Remix, Redux, Redo, whatever you want to call it. And, um, yeah, that is about it. Not really much more to say. Thanks for watching.